Hi, this is Daniel, and I'd like to give you an overview of Blender AE. Blender AE is a new add-on for Blender that lets you export objects, cameras, lights, empties, planes, vertices, or faces from Blender to After Effects. To start with, I'll just give a quick demonstration of how to use it. So jump over to Blender. It's a Blender add-on. So we go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install. Locate the Blender AE.zip add-on file, install add-on. It's installed, but we also need to enable it. When it's enabled, it will pop up as a tab. Now that it's installed, we can connect to After Effects. Open After Effects, click Connect, and that'll automatically detect. Let's export some objects to After Effects. Let's select the camera, the empty, these lights, and a few objects, export to AE. And there we go. Those objects come in as nulls with any keyframes attached. The empty comes in as a null and the lights come in as well. I'll undo that. Jump back over to Blender. Let's jump into another scene that has multiple cameras. I'll select both those cameras, export to AE. And as you can see, both those cameras come through with the correct durations. We can also export planes. I have a floor plane and a plane for the screen here. So I'll select the screen, export to AE. That'll automatically be converted to a shape layer, a pre-composed shape layer. And I'll just bring the camera back in. So we can go into that shape layer. Make sure that any layers are 3D enabled in the pre-comp because collapse transformation is on. I'm going to jump over to a different scene here. I'll create a new comp. Jump back over to Blender. We can go a step further and go into edit mode. We can select vertices. Export to AE. And we can also select faces. Planar faces will come in as a shape layer with any animation applied. I'll bring in the lights and the camera for this scene. And you'll notice sometimes the orientation doesn't match. So you might need to manually change the orientation. We can select multiple faces. I'll just delete everything in this comp. I'll select all these faces in this cuboid future phone shape. Export to AE. You'll get a warning if you select a few faces and the frames are longer. It may take some time to calculate, but you can press escape to abort the process. That took about a minute to process. Bring in these lights and the camera again so we can so we can see a bit of dimension. Now we have our 3D shape. This also works for dynamics. For example, I'll select these three objects which have rigid body physics applied to them and I'll export to AE. Note that whatever comp you have selected, if the resolution and frame rate matches, it'll import into that comp. I'll import the right camera for this. I'm 
now you can see we've got nulls for those objects and we could import the whole object by selecting all the faces but that'll take a little bit longer